Hey everyone, welcome back to Pine Hall Auto Diagnostics. We're back. We're back at the Limp Home Reduced Power Chevy Silverado 8.1 liter. It drove perfect for two weeks. <laughs> I gave the guy a one month guarantee and it lasted two weeks. Boom, Limp Home, same code, P1515. So here we are kind of had a feeling this would happen because you know it would have been too easy just to slap on the old reman throttle body and have it be perfect right so what's what's the game plan now so I call us back um, so I did some homework I'm like I want an OEM brand new throttle body on here none of this reman crap it's a waste of time uh, you know Obviously, you can't guarantee something like that to the customer, especially if it's, you know, for me, it's like a two-hour drive to get out here. So anyways, went online, researched the part numbers and everything. For this truck, the 2001-2002 model year, that throttle body is no longer available, discontinued, You only reman is the only option. So, I'm like, well, what, you know, is there any other thing we can do? The next generation throttle body from 2003 to 2007 I looked it up for the 8.1 liter bolt holes match up the wiring diagram matches up the only difference is it has one connector instead of two you know on this throttle body we have the TPS connector right here six pin and then a two pin for the actuator motor the new throttle body comes with just one integrated piece with an 8-pin connector. So I think we should be able to install the new style throttle body on here with the appropriate connector and just, you know, solder a few wires and cross your fingers, it should work. Before we do that, I want to put a scope on these two wires for the throttle actuator and see what kind of voltages are on there. I'm just curious and that way we'll know if it glitches out, we'll catch it, and I doubt that it will. You know, if it glitched one time in two weeks, I mean, that's, that's super intermittent. <laughs> so, let's get a scope on there, and then uh, install a new throttle body. By the way, here's the freeze frame data. So the truck was mostly warmed up, but the engine, uh, let's see, closed loop, engine speed, it's at idle, 7.9 grams per second. Fuel trims are good, everything's good. Desire throttle position 5%. Let's see what the actual was. TPS is at 11. So there's the disagreement right there. That's what we have on the scanner. Alright, here we go. Scope is hooked up to the two actuator control wires. And. All right, so let's do key on. Okay, and I'm gonna go depress it all the way. All the way to the floor, and all the way back. Okay, so that's our data. Shut the truck off and take a peek. Wow. So basically, if one side's high, the other one gets pulled down, that's opening the throttle, right? And then, as we close the throttle, this side stays high, and this side gets pulled down. And if you want to keep it in one spot, then, let's see what happens right here. You see, it basically alternates. Eh, 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 eh. Now, do we like these uh, these patterns here? I could drop the sample rate down a little bit. I mean, that kind of stuff. Yeah. 
you would think it would just be 0 to 12 square pulses but maybe that's that's just how it is so here's where we're starting this is the pigtail for the TPS sensors it's obviously been replaced and then this is the connector for the throttle body actuator again pigtail has been replaced what we're gonna do brand new throttle body from GM AC Delco there's the part number and then this connector I got uh, on eBay again all the wire colors are guaranteed to match and it plugs right in you see this thing, the TPS sensors and the actuator are all in one on this side. New gasket, so let's get busy. Splice this sucker in. It's going to be on this side of the throttle body. We have plenty of wire. So we're just going to cut all this stuff off and the wire colors are going to match. Sweet. Get to work. So before getting too far and cutting up the original harness, Let's just plug in the adapter. I just have the wire stripped back and pushed into the connectors. Wire co colors all match up. Let's just see if it works. Can we see the throttle body from here? Yes, we can. Let me move that windshield wiper out of the way. All right, here we go. Cross your fingers. So we got the scope and we have the scanner. So first let's roll the scope here. Ready? Key on. Okay. So our control is there. Let's depress the throttle. It's opening. Uh oh. We're in limp home mode here. Crap. <laughs> that sucks. Display codes. Ah, I had a feeling this wouldn't work. TP sensor circuit one or two. TPS performance fuel pump circuit. Uh. Dang. Okay, let's let's delete these. <sighs> it sucks. TPS performance slash fuel pump circuit. What the heck? And instantly set the 1515 again man let's back out of here look at our data so even though the wiring diagrams match up doesn't mean the throttle bodies are designed the same way or act the same way okay TP sensor 1, 2, disagree. Reduce power active. Is there at angle 10, indicate angle 87. Okay. So TP sensor 2 is messed up. Cycle key off, cycle key on. Dang it. So these sensors are apparently supposed to be aligned, but in this, in the old model, they're like reversed. <sighs> it sucks. The throttle position sensors, they changed the round, unfortunately. 1.16 and 1.12. All right, so just when you think it's game over, 
I had an idea. These TPS sensors, they're, they're just potentiometers, right? You have zero volts on one side, five volts on the other, and then like a slider. So on the original system on this truck, throttle position sensor one goes from 0 0.5 to 4.5, you know, from 0% throttle to 100. Sensor two is the inverse. It goes from four and a half at closed throttle to half a volt at open throttle. So it's the inverse. On this throttle body, that's not the case. They go together. Can we invert one of the sensors by just changing the power and the ground, swapping the two wires around on throttle position sensor two? So here's the wiring diagram. TP sensor two, that's the purple wire. Light blue and black is the 5 volt reference, black and white is the low reference. What if we just swap these two around at the pigtail? Well, I did that right here. So black and white and blue and black, I just swapped them around. Purple's still the signal. What if we turn the key on, see what happens? Again, I don't know what the... <laughs> Let's see. Codes menu, clear codes, yes. Something's still not happy, I'm sure. No communication. Something's clicking, fuel pump's running. That's not good. <laughs> totally messed that up. PCM attack module serial data circuit. Oh, crap. PS performance fuel pump circuit. <sighs> Maybe it's not that easy. I mean, the TPS shouldn't care if the power and ground are switched around, but. Are they tied together inside the throttle body and we're sending like a 5 volt reference on the low reference? Ah, this, this, it's too good to be true, right? Okay, so I checked all the wires again. Again, for throttle position sensor 2, I switched the power and the ground. Make sure the ground was, you know, it's just a potentiometer. Verify that with the resistance measurement and it's not tied internally into like TP1 or something. So look, right now it says agree, and TP desired angle is 10. Let's push the throttle. Oh man, it's actually working? No way. Wow, that's super cool. All right, watch the indicated angle, desired angle, so 15, 15. Throttle position sensor one is 14. Throttle position sensor two is 15. All the way to the floor, 96 and 97. Uh oh, what happened? What happened? Not responding anymore. Crap. Reduce power active. Why? Engine data. Ah, just when you think you're getting somewhere. 1516. Ah, dang. Alright, let's reset that. Continue.
Let me just check the connections out there. All right, here we go again. Key on. Throttle works. Okay, when it bounced back, when you release the accelerator really suddenly, I think it set that code. Fifteen, sixteen now. Ah, we're so close. <laughs> Dang. So why is it doing that? Try again. Uh oh, didn't like that again. So is something wrong with the throttle actuator, 15, 16. Throttle position performance, hmm. So the last little problem here is the throttle can't open past 96%. So if you floor it, it tries to open, you know, it basically bumps up against the mechanical stop, it goes to 96% and then throws the uh, 15, 15 or 15, 16 code. So you can play around with it all day long. But let's slowly go up to desired. Watch that. As soon as we hit 96%, like 88 miles an hour, the thing will wig out. It's crazy. Oh, we're so close, 92, wide open, it's wide open throttle. Let's keep going here, 90, 80, 90, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 100. That's still wide open, oh, there it goes, boom. <laughs> now you're in limpo mode, reduced engine power. So at the very, very limit, doesn't like it. Ugh. So what can we do? It's looking for the TPS voltages to go a little bit further when it's commanding that 100% throttle. Unfortunately, the throttle's already all the way open. How do you, can we mess with the voltages even more? I mean, we already swapped the 5 volt on the low reference on TPS2 and that seems to work perfectly. So that was one hurdle and now the second hurdle is this thing. Hmm. I want to plug in the original throttle body and do the same experiments and see if there's, you know, if it behaves ideally or, you know, if it only happens when you floor it. So with the old throttle body, let's ramp it up to the max. Seems to respond just fine. Let's go max. 65, 76, 83, 91, 94, 99. And look at the voltages. 3.73, 1.25, 4.2, 0.7. So after playing around with the old and the new throttle body and looking at some data, the thing that really doesn't fit is the range of the TPS sensor. So on the old throttle body, you manually push the throttle all the way closed. On sensor one, we have 0 0.35 volts. If you manually open it all the way, we have 4.53 volts, and the reading 100% begins at 4.2. So all the way from 4.2 to 4.5, the reading is 100% throttle. 
I mean, effectively it's fully open. However, we're not hitting the throttle stop when it gets to 100%. New throttle body goes from 0 0.57 fully closed to 4.27 fully open. As you can see, that's only 96% on the indicated data so it wants to open it more but it hits the stop that sucks so this range here 0 0.57 to 0 4.27 is significantly smaller than 0 0.35 to 4.53 so you're adding 0 0.2 here and about 0 0.2 here so 0 0.4 volts the range is bigger on the old throttle body. And that, unfortunately, is all programmed into the throttle actuator module, the TAC. So, this TAC and this throttle body are not going to get along. That is very unfortunate. So, if you're doing a throttle body upgrade on your 8.1 liter, <laughs> not that easy. Next step is, well, to research the TAC modules. Can you put a newer TAC module on here or reprogram it? What a bummer though. It's not, that's what's going to kill these newer cars, the fly-by-wire cars. Like, parts get outdated, you can't get new parts anymore. You try to fit a part from a newer model, it won't work because they made slight changes here and there and it's just not compatible. So, that's where we are right now. I don't know where this is going to go. At least we get to drive through Amish Paradise on the way back. Eat some at a Russian restaurant on Interstate 80.